What's going on guys? In today's video, let's talk about some of the roles out there that are making over $150,000 a year. Let's get into the video. So I remember when I was starting out in security, something that I did even in college, just to make sure that it was worth it to be in school and rack up that debt. I kind of wanted to make sure, you know, down the line, is this gonna be something that's gonna provide for me well um, to the point where I'm pretty, comfortable and you know financially free that's what we're all after and that's what we're looking for right so we're going to go through a couple roles here that i have identified as usually roles that are going to put you over one hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year and these are roles that you want to work up to right this is don't expect to just jump out of school or jump right into the field and just boom you're making that kind of money now obviously there's exceptions depending on the parts of the country that you're at but generally this is going to be something that takes you a little bit of time to work yourself up to i am not somebody who promotes false advertising right so i'm not going to advertise to you that you're going to make you know a half a million dollars coming out of school um, if you do this that or the other to get you know clicks or whatever i'm not going to do that Let's be realistic here. These are roles that you need to work yourself up to, but they're there. And if you're looking to get into security, just be aware that if you put in the work and dive into this industry, that you'll find that you can make a pretty decent living. So let's get into the video. And real quick, guys, I want to talk to you about the sponsor of this video, the Southern New Hampshire University. And what they have is something special here. Now, are you somebody that really is not happy in the position that they're at right now? Maybe you've been at a company for a few years or you've been in an industry for four years that really just does not suit you well. And you're looking for a new start in cybersecurity. Cybersecurity looks intriguing and fun and you want to get into it. Well, the Southern New Hampshire University has a cybersecurity program that is 100% online. With this program, you're going to learn about network security, application security, incident response, and so much more. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to see every day there is a new breach of major industries that's bringing down companies, losing data, etc. A great start is to get into Southern New Hampshire University into their cybersecurity degree program. SNHU is accredited university. It's a nonprofit university and it has a radically affordable tuition. Jobs in cybersecurity are expected to grow by 32% by 2032. If you're looking for your start, this is where it is. So if you're interested, click the link down below in the description where you can check out what an average salary for a cybersecurity analyst is and also where you can get started. So let's kind of work ourselves up here um, from, you know, levels of roles to where you're going to start out at, you know, maybe a level two or three, four or five, work yourself up. The first job role in this video is going to be a cybersecurity engineer. Now, you're going to see a lot of um, titles that can very vastly. Uh, you could just see a security engineer, a cybersecurity engineer, a cloud security engineer. Um, you're, the list goes on when it comes to security engineers. So as for the job description, you kind of want to make sure that you click on it and, you know, go down and read exactly what it is um, that you'll be doing. Generally, you're going to be creating new security controls. Oftentimes, you'll be creating some type of um, projects security remediation tools via Python or Go or whatever the scripting language is. You're also going to be working along DevOps to ensure the security of the code that's coming down their pipeline. You'll be identifying network and system vulnerabilities, as well as providing plans to patch them and mitigate them. And you're going to participate in the change management process that comes along with your day-to-day -day workflow in IT. And you're gonna be a crucial part of that to make sure that changes that are occurring do not carry any severe security risk and that everybody on the team is aware of the changes in case you need to roll back. Now, with some good experience, you can expect to be north of 150 um, for this role. Uh, obviously, at this point, you're gonna have some experience, right? 
You're going to be maybe have some experience as a system engineer, um, a systems administrator, a help desk, a security analyst, um, you know, and you have worked yourself up into an engineer position and you can, for the most part, be looking above or north of 150,000. And I would say right about there um, or a little bit more. All right, the next role that we're going to talk about is another step up from the security engineer um, on your typical path, right? There's always different paths that everybody can take. Let's just talk about the basics. So we're going from engineer. The next one is going to be the cyber security architect. Now, what does a cybersecurity architect do? Well, a little bit more than the engineer does. This is more of a senior level position where the security engineer could be anywhere from, um, you know, a mid tier to a senior mid tier. This is definitely defined as a senior position in a lot of organizations. Here, you're not only going to create tools, you're gonna design infrastructure for IT systems. Um, you're gonna be able to assist corporations in ensuring that the structural integrity of an architecture network wise, cloud wise is sound and secure, which takes a lot of knowledge, which obviously coincides with the pay. You're not going to just create projects. You're going to be involved with the project timelines, ensuring that the projects are done at a certain date that is conducive to the business needs and make sure that, you know, the folks underneath of you, the teams underneath of you are working to get the projects done in that time frame. Obviously, this is a little bit more managerial work um, and you'd have to be somebody that is kind of interested in that kind of work as well. Now, with the cybersecurity architect, you can be looking um, well north of 150,000. Most jobs posting around 175,000 or higher. Um, and that's typically what you're looking at. Like I said, you're starting to tiptoe into, um, you know, some manager work here where you're going to be doing things from a higher level now um, and have, you know, a lot of responsibility underneath of you. But that is what goes with the pay. So let's move on to the last one. The last one is going to be something that you probably have already guessed, a CISO or a chief information security officer. Now, this is usually the top rank in cybersecurity. This is the head honcho, the big boss, the big guy. This is the CISO position. Now, this is top level senior position. This is what they call C-suites position. Now, typically at this level, you're managing all of security operations, which is a large task. It sounds like it is because it is. You're going to be dealing with not only just small level things like controls that are being put in place, but incidents, incident response plans, write-ups, policy making. You're going to be involved with the risk management team, accepting certain risk within the company that you guys cannot prevent, aka a risk appetite. Um, the buck stops with you at this position. You need to make sure that you're on the ball, that you're approving things that are secure and sound. At this level, you're going to be dealing with a lot of the compliance work, um, a lot of the GRC type of work, making sure that the company is in compliance um, with a lot of these industry standards out there and enforcing it from top to bottom to ensure that the controls are in place and the backups are in place to comply with a lot of these standards. Another thing you'll be doing at this position is a lot of budget management. Maybe you will have the actual budget for IT or cybersecurity. This is a big task to take on um, that you're going to be dealing with vendors, licenses, making sure your AWS accounts are being utilized in the best way possible to ensure um, that the budget is being met or maybe sometimes even being under the budget, providing the best possible security tools for the least amount of money, obviously that is every corporation's um, goal. Uh, and, you know, you have to be on top of that to ensure that the company is getting the best use out of their tools as well. Now, I just want to clarify, this is not to say that there's no other positions that are going to be making um, north of this kind of salary. These are the ones that you can kind of expect to see this kind of salary. Now, I do want to mention the CISO's role can widely, widely vary salary-wise, okay? I've seen 250, I've seen 
500. It really depends on the corporation, but you can usually expect to be north of 200 at this position in a company um, and way beyond depending on the size of the organization. But like I said, responsibility goes along with this pay and a lot of experience. Uh, so I hope you guys liked this video. I wanted to give somebody who's excited to get into the field a reason to be excited or a college student, a reason to keep pushing forward, uh, that this is a good place to be, a good industry, um, a lot of job growth, and uh, it's a great, great investment into your future. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.